This video will explain how to design a rotating animated wheel with geometer sketchpad. Loads more complicated than the last one. So first of all we're going to start by drawing our wheel and we're going to put a single spoke from the centre to the circumference. Notice that I didn't join it up to this point here. That's because if I join it up to that point there it'll go badly wrong when I try to animate it. Now, if you want your wheel to be animated then you have to somehow link your spoke off this single line. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's quite complicated and if you try and do it differently it may or may not work as you expect. So here we go. So first of all I'm going to stick a whole bunch of points on this line. I'm going to go for four. The more points I have the more control I'm going to get but the more complicated my drawing will get. So I use the point tool. None of them move off the line. They can move up and down it but not off it. Now I'm going to create some perpendicular lines. So I'm going to highlight one point in the line and construct a perpendicular line. And again. And again. Notice I'm clicking in between to clear everything. And again. OK. Now I can construct my spoke using the polygon tool. I'm going to use the third one along because it's the filled polygon. I like that one. And here we go. I'm just going to click when it goes red that so I know that it's on the line all the way up. I'm going to join it to there at the end and then back down the other side. Like so. And then I have to click again there and it's finished now. So back onto the arrow tool. Now I can hide all these lines, so I'm just going to go to Display, Hide. And I'm now ready to rotate this thing. So double click in the middle. Now, the only really, I really only want to rotate the lines and the shapes. I don't want to rotate the whole lot, which is why I'm not using a box. I'm just rotating the lines and the actual filled in bit. And I'm going to go to Transform, Rotate. Now remember the thing we did in the last video about the angle, well I'm going to go for six spokes which means I'm going to have an angle of 60 degrees because 6 times 60 makes 360. So just exactly as before, rotate, transform, rotate, transform, rotate and one more. Okay. Now. Why have I gone to this trouble? Well, because when I move this, the wheel will rotate. If you try to do that with your last one, you'll find it goes badly wrong. It doesn't work. Now I'm going to adjust it, so I can adjust them up and down using these. Remember the lines hidden there, so I can do that. Okay. Actually, I'm going to adjust it in. There we are. So let's bring it down a bit. And then make them fit nicely. There we are. So there we are. And then I'm going to bring all these in a bit narrower like that. And you may well have looked out of your car window and seen cars with alloy wheels that don't look too dissimilar to that. Okay. Now, so that's got rotational symmetry. I'm going to give it some def definite rotational symmetry, sort of spinning speed blades. Okay. Let's see what sort of cars I like to drive. Can't you? Let's have a bit of fun with it. You can make some crazy wheels. Let's go with that, shall we? A little bit of a bit of a curve on it. Bit of a kick out the back there. It's nice, nice speedy looking wheels. Okay, so now we've done that, what are we going to do now? Well, if I've finished messing around with it, then really I can just hide all of these dots. But notice the one I'm not hiding. It's the one at the very end. So display, hide, that one. If you lose that when you're stuffed, okay? If, by the way, you want to get it back, you can always show all hidden. Unfortunately, that will show everything. So, best to make sure you only hide the things you want. But you need that, that point there, because if you don't have that point, you can't move it around like this. Okay, and now we're ready to animate it. So, I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to display animate point. Now it gets a bit fun. So, I'm going to move it over here. There we are. And you can adjust the speed. Speed it up a bit slow it down a bit and then you can make it smaller there we go so 
then that seems about right to me. So um, I've got one wheel. I'm not quite sure why that's doing that. Control Z is always a good idea. If it goes wrong, you can move it. Now I want to make some more wheels, so I'm going to make a whole load of these things. So I'm going to transform, translate them. So there we are. Rectangular, horizontally, I'm going to translate it about three, and vertically none. Three is not quite enough. Which we'll do, we'll do it. Translate, transform, translate again. This time I'm going to translate it six. Okay, there we are. And now I'm going to just adjust the size of those wheels so they don't overlap. And then I think I'm just going to put a lorry on top of them for fun. In fact, why don't we make it a colourful one? There we are. That's not going well, is it? Let's start again. One, two, up to the top. Over here. Down to about there. ourselves a lorry on a road like that and we can speed it up a little bit we'll make those wheels a smidgen smaller and maybe even faster so fast they appear to go backwards there we are I'm sure you can come up with something better than that and if you do Please make sure you get to see it. Have fun.